Hi, well, here I am. I, I thought I'd do a little narrative video tour of the waterfall. Um, so, I feel a little silly talking to myself out here, but there's nobody around, so I think I'll be okay. Uh, this is where I spent many a summer day here in Oita Prefecture. Uh, this is the swimming area here. They've got a rope across indicating it's closed uh, which I'm just gonna ignore we, we've ignored that rope many times it's uh, typical Japanese everything is regulated by the season so the swimming season is only like actually six weeks in fact that's uh, I mean even now it's April 3rd today and it, already it's feeling pretty warm not gonna go swimming quite yet though um, this is the pool for the kids. This is the actual official swimming area. The The waterfall is actually part of the unofficial swimming area. In fact, you've got to do a bit of uh, hop, skipping, and jumping to get over there. Uh, water looks a little bit higher than usual. I'm not sure if... Uh, well, I, I guess we'll cross that bridge till we come to it. U usually, though, that concrete barrier is above water. So, come over here, and at this point you kind of have to skip over rocks and stuff like that, which uh, normally is, isn't much of a problem unless of course you're carrying a video camera that you don't want to accidentally drop into the water. Uh, but so far I, I've managed this every time without any major disasters, so we'll see. Now, this is normally where we cross over, but water level is a bit higher than normal. Uh, so it's, it's I, I'm either gonna have to get my feet wet or I can go another way. Um, another way. Maybe, maybe if I took off my shoes and socks, it wouldn't be so bad. You know, I'm, I'm going to turn the video camera off while I think about this, and uh, I'll catch up with you momentarily. Okay, well, I've uh, decided to just take off my shoes and socks, and uh, go, go for it, I guess. Um, and hopefully I won't drop the video camera. I guess that's the important thing. Uh, so just uh, feet are getting a little wet here, but you know what? It's, it's a warm spring day. This is a mountain stream, so it's a bit cold, but I'll just dry my feet up afterwards. Uh, move around this rock here. Okay, and off we go, and oh, there, there we go, uh, across already. And that's how we get, it, get across here. Uh, this is water running off from some farm irrigation. I always get splattered here. I'm gonna, well, I'm just gonna cover up the video camera while we can. There, yes. sorry about that. And over here, we are coming over to the waterfall. Now, it's not much to look at, but it is, it is quite fun to slide down on a hot summer day. So, oh, <laughs> Here we go. This is uh, sliding down. And you can also jump off. Uh, two choices open to you. You can. Now, I really hope I don't slip here with the video camera. You can walk up to the edge here and 
come down. Now, it's quite, well, it's probably not as high up as you think, but it, uh, it certainly looks high up when you're standing here looking down. Uh, and I've, I've done the jump a number of times, and it doesn't seem to get any easier for me. Each time I have to work up the courage all over again to kind of go against all my evolutionary instincts and jump up a high place. So, you know what, the past couple times I've been out here, I don't even bother anymore. I figure I've, I've done it before, I don't need to prove myself. And it's a lot more fun just kind of going down this water slide. Anyway, down below. Uh, now, th there is an alternate path around the back because it's, I'm not going to slide down today and I'm certainly not going to slide down with the video camera. So, we'll just take that path. I'm doing a little tender footing here because my hiking boots got left upstream. But this is how you go. Well, you don't want to slide down. Now, this path is always very slippery. It's I mean, going up is one thing, but it's one of those things where you're going down. It's rough getting your footing. But you know, if I fall here, at least the video camera doesn't go in the river, huh? So. Okay. Just uh, grab into this thing here. So yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful spot. Somebody told me once, I'm not sure if this is an urban rumor or not, but there, there's a lot of fertilizer runoff from these neighboring uh, rice patties that end up in the water. Which, if so, makes me a little paranoid about swimming here, but what, what can you do, huh? Actually, there, there are two entrances. I'm gonna go to the second one over here. I mean, who knows if it's even true? I, I have no idea what the agricultural practices of these local rice farmers are, and they're all sorts of urban rumors that get started among jets and passed on. And this is what the view looks like from the bottom. It's I almost, almost feel like going swimming today, huh? But, I guess maybe next time I'll come out here, I'll come out with two people, so we can videotape somebody going down the waterfall. Or you can just imagine what it would look like to see a person swimming down. Uh, and, You swim around in this pool here. You know, there was a vine hanging right about there that we would swing off, but uh, it broke. I guess we swung off it too much. Um, and then, you know, on a, on a hot day, it's really just nice to kind of sit right there in cool water. I mean, like on a day in August. It's not enough where you just want to kind of sit there and not move. On a day in April, not so much. But it's still, still an okay view. Okay, I've rambled on enough. I'm going to end this tape here. This is me signing off.